Remember spam? Actually, Chris gave me a great segue into third base. What is it? Credibility. Now, I'm not calling you all spam, but the credibility was sometimes we feel like we may be selling spam. Sometimes it's only us that makes the difference between whatever it is. You know, it, how you do real estate, how you do financial planning, how you do fitness, you know, it's fitness, it's real estate, but how you do it is what makes it special. You can be known as spam a lot, or you can be known as someone who gets it out of the park every time. And guess what, credibility? You're not beating up people in your industry, right? You're looking at yourself and how you, you can make a difference in someone else. So, we took it back to home plate. What was home plate? <coughs> Affordability. And we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this one, but this is a deck of cards. I love Ben Franklin. I just got lucky to have him on our cards. You know, affordability. You have to have lots of different levels of pricing structures. You're not going to be able to get the jackpot $10,000 client every time. But that'd be a good day. <laughs> but but it's, it's making yourself affordable at different, different levels. And if they're not buying now, you need to have the hope that they're buying later. Or just like Teresa, you said at the beginning, you know what, you're here. But you're learning about what people's characters, value systems, what they offer, that you might actually have help them a friend through that. So, so affordability. Last one. Not here, is it? Ooh, I have something. In, what do I have in here? Oh no! Sorry, it's not real. <laughs> it's a chameleon. Adaptability. This is the clincher, folks. Oh yeah, that was a baseball analogy too, wasn't it? I don't watch baseball much, but I think so. <laughs> clincher. The, the adaptability means not only in our own business models, because adapting our business model is key. Whoever said you have to have a 24-page business plan, I, I'd like to just knock them off the side of the head with my chameleon. Because it, it went you to a certain track. You know, so when you have it a little bit looser and know that you might have to be a little bit more flexible depending upon where you are in the economy, where you are with your clientele, where you are in your geographic region, you have to be a little bit flexible. But what I'm talking about is in our communication style. How many of you think you have a dominant communication style? We all kind of do. Yeah. Guess what, when we get stressed, we have a dominant communication style. <laughs> We all do. And what all of you have on your table is another pink sheet. This is something that I want you to not only use with yourself, your clients, your coworkers, your family. <coughs> because we're all, they're all related. Whether you're happy at home, whether you're happy at work, it's all in there. But what I'd like you to do is to really pay attention. And this is taken from what's called a self-profile. I do these assessments. We're skipping through that today. You're just getting the meat of it here. On page 12, that's the one on this sheet, it says strengths. I want you to look at those four quadrants. You have an S, E, L, and an F. I want you to see, in most cases, where you might fall. And where your second dominant characteristic of communication style might fall. To, to give you a hint, I'm in the S with the second most dominant being E. So if you look at the strengths, you'll see that high and low, those that are really high are the ones that are out or on that vertical, I need to clarify that, high on that vertical line, <laughs> is the directive. They have a high need to direct. On the affiliative line, which is the horizontal, high, they like a lot of people. They, they, they score really high. That means that they're social. They need people. Those that are in the E's and the F's on the other side, they're like, ah, I can take them and leave them. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just likes, eh, you, you can do work by yourself. And that's just fine. 
So having said that, I want you to circle or at least eyeball three traits within that dominant quadrant. There are four quadrants. How many of you kind of could pick out one quadrant that is more strong than the other? And if you're sitting there, I'd say that's about half the room. There's some of you that may be struggling and say, well, it depends. <laughs> it depends. I want you to think in most case scenarios. Because what will happen is, when you are in, let's say you're in the S. How many, I, I have a feeling that many of you may fall in the S category. The persuasive risk taker pursues change, socially skilled, inspiring, open, outgoing. How many of you may feel like you fall in that quadrant? Yeah, yeah. And knowing some of you who raised your hand, yeah, you're right on. Like E, practical, orderly, very direct, self-determined, organized, traditional, goal-oriented. Okay, everybody's saying nope, nope, nope. Everybody said nope, nope, nope. Raise your hand. Okay, coaches, go find that. No. <laughs> The Fs might be, and I'm going to throw it out there, those who are in the financial world sometimes, or the CPAs, there's an atypical one, that's fabulous, she's a whole brain thinker. You know, the Fs are the exacting, the thorough, the factual, the calm, the high standards. You know, those are the Fs. And then the Ls are really team-oriented, caring. They don't want to rock the boat, they, they, they are not rocking the boat. They want to keep peace in the family. Those are the Ls. Any Ls in the group? Yeah? You know what's amazing? And how many how many of the Fs? How many are kind of falling in the Fs? Okay, I'm really grateful. Well, okay. I'm just going to put it out there. Usually Fs aren't a big fan of me. <laughs> and, but, you know, that's about the adaptability. My job is to adapt to their style. And you might be thinking, well, that's not right. You shouldn't have to adapt to your style. Guess what? We all have ownership on that. The only thing that we can control are ourselves. We can't control on... Yeah, we think we can control our husbands or our wife. Yeah, we think we can. But we can't. We can really only just control ourselves. Okay, there's giggles to, to just confirm that one. So it's those kind of things that, okay, look at those strengths. I want you to circle or think about those three strengths that you can say, right on, that's me. Looking at the strengths. Circle about two or three that really represent you in one of those quadrants that you feel like you fall. Or if you're the whole kit and caboodle, circle in the hall. Because <laughs> that means that you're definitely that trait. <laughs> you, that's your dominant communication style. Your limitations, this is where we're going to have reality. Guess what? Not everybody thinks I'm socially skilled and persuasive. They think of me as pushy, intimidating, and overbearing. No! <laughs> but that's if I choose not to adapt my style. Do I want to do business or do I not want to do business? It's not saying that you are manipulating in any way. You're saying you want to help a client, you want to help a person. Let's get to the best possible outcome for everyone. We're outcome focused. So circle a couple of limitations that you might find in that quadrant. And if you're having trouble finding them, just keep in mind, remember, we're all works in progress. <laughs> and, and you may think that you are fabulous. Guess what? If you're in the S quadrant, meaning socially skilled, persuasive, those kind of things, who do you like hanging out with a lot of times? Same kind of people. Same kind of people. You love those S's. <laughs> but not everybody, and I got to see it from up here, you're really split a quarter around. The F's, not so much, but the others were really even evened out of the group. So here's the gold mine that you're going to get. On the back of this are your turn-ons and turn-offs. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is when you think of adaptability, you're not going to go with the intent of like, I'm gonna to try to get my client to think this, do this, say that. You're thinking, well, where might they fall in this communication style so I can adapt my style so that what I have to say will be heard. Will be heard. So the turn-ons, you can imagine, for the S's, 
Attention Achievement Recognition Adventure. So guess what, the Fs? The turnoffs are over-assertiveness, carelessness, arrogance, and fakes. Uh -oh. Perception is key, everyone. Your intent is one thing. How it's perceived is another. When we go with an open heart, open mind, and open ears, and open eyes, that's the key. It's the awareness. But it's not just the awareness. It's the willingness. Because we may have all the awareness in the world, but we need to be willing to adapt. Because let's say, I'm just going to use an example because the two Fs are back here, Jillian. You know, say, oh, I'm not going to bother Jillian. I just know she's an F and I'm just not going to change my style. I'm just that. Guess what, Jillian? She's going to tell at least 10 people how annoying, fake, over sort of like careless I am. <laughs> yeah. Go business. The $10,000 isn't coming my way. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much you believe in the law of attraction. <laughs> Accountability is key in this awareness and willingness. Where you are and where you want to go, it does start with adaptability. My husband, he's an E. He's a solid E. He likes directing. He doesn't need a lot of people. I love people. I love directing. Guess what? He, I understand now why he's like, why are you going to another one of these networking events? Because <laughs> he doesn't find joy in them. It's when we step outside, whether it's in our relationships, in business, in life, with our children. I mean, I love that Gabby's here. You and your mom got a great conversation going home. But to really talk about this through, because the sooner we get this, run the bases, and the fifth base, which is? Adaptability. Adaptability. I encourage you. Be the chameleon. Embrace it. Apply what you learned today. Because that's how you grow your business, grow your relationships, and run the basis. So thank you, everyone, very much for having me back.